Yo guys and welcome to a new video. So today, courtesy of EK, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Evo Power Pop Edition released by Puma. I've never tested these boots, so I really want to, so yeah, let's get straight into the review. Starting off with comfort, the Evo Power impressed me mainly down to its short breaking period of around 3-4 to four hours playing time. I was sceptical about the boot since I'm used to lightweight models like the Superfly 4, however Puma produced a solid and flexible boot which I like. My favourite thing about the Evo Power is that it's suited for wide feet, and although I tend to go for a tight fit, overall I was very happy with the comfort. One of the key aspects to the Evo Power 1.2 is the Adapt Light Upper which over time becomes very soft and fits to your foot nicely. In addition, a layer of grip text ensures you will have the best touch on the ball in wet or dry conditions, similar to Nike's ACC technology which is something I benefited from most when passing and dribbling. However, I personally noticed the AccuFoam cushioning the most. It's spread out across the upper and it's now thinner to give you a closer feel for the ball but also enable the boot to be more responsive. For me, shooting with the Evo Powers was a great sensation down to the off-centred lacing system giving you a wider surface to strike the ball. Also, because of the AccuFoam cushioning, it was a clean strike every time which was a highlight for me. The thing I liked most about the boot was the pop art text was placed on the boot where you'd strike the ball. It was a little touch of genius from Puma which made these boots that much more unique. However, playing on a 3G surface, I had one problem after 7 hours of playing time. However, before the boot split, I did really enjoy shooting in them and here's some of the best free kicks from the testing period. I used the firm ground traction model playing on a 3G pitch, which isn't the best choice but nevertheless I was satisfied. The traditional sole plate that features on all Evo Power models was really good for making quick cut turns and accelerating on the ball. The flexibility in the sole plate is amazing. It's up there with Nike's carbon fibre sole plate because of the unique grooves that allow more bend and flex from the boot, meaning the boots are more responsive. But in terms of durability, I see my boots breaking as an unfair situation because the traction didn't match my playing surface which was the cause of the problem. On the other hand, the upper is very strong and stiff at first, but these boots should easily last you a season regarding you look after them well. So guys, that is it for the Puma Evo Power Pop Edition review. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like and subscribe to footballboots.co.uk if you're new. Any questions about the boots, leave them in the comments section below and we will do our best to answer them. Thank you guys and see you next time.